can get a closer look at construction work that will cut down on your commute time. Eight on your side is Beth, Beth Rousseau joining us live in Hillsborough County with how you can learn more. Good morning, Beth. Hey, Avery and Deanne. So work is already underway out here. It has actually been for a while. You can take a look and see some of the construction equipment behind me. What crews are doing is creating a diverging diamond interchange, and that's a traffic pattern that they just put in place up in Pasco County at I-75 and State Road 56. But one up north is functioning very well. We're going to do something very similar to I-75 and MLK. Really. Um, helps with left turn traffic getting onto the interstate, separates movements, and it makes the interchange more efficient. So in video from Eagle 8, you get a bird's eye view of the project that's happening here at I-75 and MLK Junior Boulevard. What crews are doing is they're going to be modifying the ramps to I-75 and then redoing and reconfiguring the interchange from MLK Junior Boulevard all the way to I-4. This is a $90 million project. Work started back in 2021. What FDOT is doing tonight is holding an open house just so community members can come and talk to contractors about any questions they might have regarding this project. Again, they're creating that diverging diamond interchange with the goal of easing congestion in this area and really just making the whole interchange safer overall. Now back out here live, we do have that equipment. Again, they're hoping that all of this will be done by 2025. So hang tight while they do this work. It does mean some road closures in the area while this is underway. As for the open house that's going to be happening tonight at the Hillsborough Community College Conference Center, that's on Nancy Watkins Drive, starts at 530 and runs to seven. We're live in Hillsborough County this morning. Beth Russo, eight on your side.